Hey savvy people, it's Savvy Nick here and today I'll be showing you around the Tweak GNOME desktop called Cosmic and if you stay to the end I'll also show you how you can install it yourself today so you can start using it and testing around before it gets released. So right off the bat you might be asking yourself what is this Cosmic desktop? Well it's a tweaked version of GNOME desktop introduced to us by System76 which the planned release is sometime in June with the 21.04 release. I've got it installed here on 20.10 for testing purposes. So let's go through a few things right away. What you'll notice right off the bat is we have a dock right on the screen. On the left hand side here, we can access some favorites such as our web browser files, the terminal, the pop shop, and the recycle bin. Another change you'll notice compared to the older layout would be workspaces and applications have been separated. So I can get to applications by hitting this button here, or I can also now get to applications by hitting applications up top. Either way works. Workspaces allows you to see all the various different workspaces that you currently have available. I currently only have the one. And then if you hit applications, you of course get a window with all the various programs packages, applications that you have currently installed and that can be accessed. We can move things around pretty easily. Everything looks pretty great. But let's compare this real quick to the normal GNOME desktop that Pop! OS usually sh ships with. And if you're new and stopping by to watch a video today, make sure to subscribe below and hit that notification bell for more Linux and operating system videos. So if we overlay GNOME 3.38 here with Pop! OS 2010, we can see that we have no dock and we have no workspaces up in the left hand corner. Those are probably the biggest distinctions you'll make between the Cosmic desktop environment and GNOME itself at this point. Of course there might be new designs as System76 keeps tweaking the desktop environment of GNOME and when we hit activities then you finally get that dock to pop up like you would expect with most GNOME desktops. And if you went ahead and made it this far, please smash that like button for me. It really does help me out. Going back to the Cosmic desktop, let's check out in the right hand side if we really have anything new. So if we click over here, there's not much going on. Much the same as it was before. I don't think anything has really changed. Then we have these options for our pop shell which allows us to tile windows and view various different things such as shortcuts, hints, and even set our gaps at the bottom. This window tiling feature is fairly new to pop, maybe a year old or so at this point, but it's a great feature if you haven't tried it already, make sure you do. I do like the fact that they've added a dock on to the desktop here so it has easy access. One thing I know users complain about is if they launch an application, the dock can get in the way of real estate well, not with the auto hide feature that they enable by default. So if for some reason you have your program or a terminal opened up or something that can glide around the screen, well, if you go to the left hand side and you want to place it there, your screen real estate is given back to you by removing the dock and just making it invisible for the time being until you move things out of the way. Again, I personally like having a dock for easy access and putting my favorite types of applications in there. So I do appreciate System76 bringing this to Pop! OS with the new Cosmic Desktop. They say that a lot of these things have been voted upon their community. One of those things being over 56% of the Pop! OS users that were surveyed say that they use dash to dock or dash to panel. So they went ahead and added an option in order to have a dock in the settings. It's fairly easy to turn off too if you don't want it. Let's open up a few applications here real quick to kind of get a feel of everything. So what happens if we hit workspaces? Well, all of our opened apps get shoved over here towards the right hand middle side and we can cruise through them pretty quick, select one if we want to focus in on it. If we want, it brings it right into the screen, which is great, much like it did before, but just a little bit skewed because they decided to put their workspaces here on the left side instead of on the right hand side like they had before. So how do we control these settings here on whether or not to have a dock? Well, two ways really. First off, for the time being, these are GNOME extensions. So like I said, this is much of a tweaked GNOME environment. And I manually installed Pop Cosmic, which I'll show you how to do later. And then I enabled just a few things here, the Ubuntu dock, which comes with Cosmic and 
the shell extension for multi monitors. I don't have multi monitors, so that's why it's not enabled or working currently, but very easy to get things going. I'm gonna exit out of a few things here and let's look right in the middle. They haven't really touched this calendar or events. Nothing has changed here. It looks very much similar to what it did before. One thing that can't be accessed quite yet is in the settings. It looks like they're going to replace appearance with something called desktop, which will allow you to change various things, such as if you want to actually show the dock on the desktop, show dock on display, automatically hide the dock, what size of dock you want. So maybe you don't like the fact that it's so large. You can actually specify the icon sizes to make them smaller or not. And another neat feature, which uh, I don't see currently again in that desktop settings, instead of appearance, we will get the option to send the dock here either to the bottom right or keep it here on the left hand side of the screen. You could probably do this right now by installing GNOME tweaks and messing with that a little bit. And one thing that I find really nice about Cosmic here, instead of having to do multiple keys in order to open up the pop launcher, instead you just press the super key, such as the Windows key, and you'll get a launcher right away. I believe it was super forward slash. And now it's not making any suggestions, but if we search for something like the terminal, let's just type in TER you can see the launcher automatically scales through the system and figures out what's all available here for you. And with POP 20.10, they've made this launcher much better. You can go through and actually click on items, use the control plus a number in order to open things up. And you get many more options while you search. Before it was limited only to like four or so options as you were filtering things through. This makes things much better, but the thing I like the most about it, if you put the equal sign in and you start typing some numbers, so let's just do some maths. Here we go. It works quite seamlessly. You can bring this launcher up and start doing math pretty quickly, and it has the ability to handle more complex math like square roots and what have you. So make sure to use that if you are using POP. One of my favorite things, the POP launcher. As far as the workstations go, not much has changed there. They all work the same. You can drag and drop various different applications into the workstations. I just think it's a little easier to drag the applications from center to left instead of center to right where they had the workstations before. But besides making those few little tweaks to the desktop environment and calling it Cosmic, they've pretty much kept things the same. Not saying that they won't be adding more things in because there are a few months in between the release so they might be tweaking things in this GNOME desktop environment called Cosmic now. But for the time being, these are the major changes. Another mention I'll make is if you check out the System76 website, you can check out their blog where you can read much more about Cosmic. It gives you a little bit more in-depth experience about what's going on and what's coming our way. And it talks about things like the workspaces and applications, the super key change, a doc, and then as I was talking about before, the new desktop settings so you can change your desktop around a little bit with the new Cosmic desktop environment. I'll put a link in the description below if you wanna check that out. But now let's move on real quick to how to install Cosmic from source. That way you can try it out today. Well, we'll launch a terminal real quick and then follow some of these instructions. Basically, we're told to update the repos and install a few things. What we'll ignore is this Pop Cosmic. It's not available for 2010. And since I'm using 2010, you can also be using 20.04. It really doesn't matter. We need to install a few extensions and libraries to make sure this all works. So really just skip this one and type the rest of this out. Following that, it tells us we can restart the GNOME shell by hitting Alt F2, typing R, which will reset it. But you can also just restart things once you've gotten this far. But before we do this section, we'll make sure to install from source. All right, here first in my terminal, I'll type in sudo apt update. Type in my password for my administrative user. That will update the repos real quick. Once that's done, I'll do sudo apt install and do the lib pop dash desktop dash widget space gnome dash shell dash extension dash ubuntu space ubuntu dash doc 
and then another space with gnome dash shell dash extension dash multi monitors and press enter this will install those three packages for you all right and once you have those packages installed we'll do git clone so we can clone down the repository for cosmic https colon forward slash forward slash github dot com forward slash pop dash os forward slash cosmic and that should bring down the repo for us now that we have it cloned down i'll do ls i'll see that cosmic is now a directory i'll change directories into cosmic and then we'll install it from here all we have to do i'll first clear things out and do make two ampersands make install don't do sudo in front of this one it's not required to install cosmic i'll do that it's fairly quick and at this point you have cosmic installed a few other things again that you'll need to do is do either restart things or alt f2 run the r command that will restart the gnome shell and then make sure to enable everything because you might not actually see things until you go into applications search for something called extensions you'll see it it's a little puzzle piece and in here make sure to enable the pop cosmic which was manually installed and the ubuntu doc as well as the multi monitors add-on if you do have multi monitors that should get things working and you should see an environment just like mine at this point congratulations if you made it that far and if you successfully install everything smash that like button for me because you're about to have fun using cosmic and testing it out well that's about it if you have any questions comments or suggestions please make sure to post them in the comments section below also, make sure to subscribe for future videos and make sure to like the video. Catch me in a great community on Discord. I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.